Today I'm going to share a little bit about our favorite science program, which is Nancy Larson Science. I've been using the program for, I think, about three years now. I've used the levels K, 1, 2, and 3. And this upcoming school year, we're going to be cycling back and doing Science 1, again with Tiger and B, who are 7 and 6. And then my oldest, Carly, who is 9, will kind of be helping us. She's going to help teach and do some extra extension activities to go along with the program. But I will show you how I organize the program and then um, tell you a little bit about why I like the science program and why it's worked so well in our homeschool. When you purchase the program, you get a big kit that contains everything you need for science for the year. It has your teacher's manual that has all the lessons and they are written out for you here. Everything is completely scripted which helps me because I don't have to do any planning. So I really enjoy that I can just open the teacher's manual and start teaching the lessons right away. It also has all the answers to the student worksheets and it has samples of the student booklets as well. Some other things that are included in the kit are right here in this tub. I keep all my science supplies in canvas tubs like this. This one comes with some bugs to look at. There are several books and some magnifying glasses, some field guides. There's also part of a tree, a tree cookie here. There's also some pine cones and different things also included for your botany study. Each level comes with photo cards. You have images of different things that will be studied throughout the program. That way you don't have to look online to try to find images. And then this level also has a lot about insects. So there are some cards about different insects, the life cycle of insects, the different parts of an insect. So these are great to go through um, some photo guides and they are labeled. So I keep all those here in my canvas tub. There's also a ladybug land and a butterfly garden that also come with this level that are not currently in my box. It also comes with a set of x-rays of the human body. And then in here, I create a notebook for each child. And this is a science notebook. And so I have our Nancy Larson science already put in here. Everything comes already three hole punched, so you can put it in a notebook if you choose to do so, which I do so I don't have to keep track of all the different separate pages. And the program is set up to have different units. So the first unit is the life stages of human beings, and the child becomes the developmental scientist. They put their name here, and then they are the illustrator of their textbook. So instead of a textbook, this is what my kids read from when we read together. They do any writing or labeling here, and then they draw any pictures. So here's the next unit. This is botany. They become a botanist, and here they will do the drawings on this page. They would label the parts of a tree. Then on this page, they would collect the type of leaf, and they can tape it on there. Here's a page that has a lot of reading that we would read together. The next unit is sunlight, water, and soil, and it's set up in the same way where they illustrate it as well. This one is animals and their habitats. Here are a few of the pages that they complete. Discovering what is inside our bodies. And then the last unit is the insect unit, examining the characteristics and life cycles of insects. So they in here complete the different diagrams and they draw pictures of the life cycles of the insects that they're studying. The other part of the program are these student materials, which are worksheets, and there's one for every lesson. And so what I do is I put them all in my notebook together and then each time we need one I just tear it off they are up here and you can just tear off the one that you need so I just tear off the one for the lesson for that day and I have my child complete them independently and then we put them right back in our notebook so that we keep all of our pages in order 
And so how I use the program is we do two lessons a week. So we only do science twice a week. We do science on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then what we do on Wednesday and Friday is we read books from the library on the topic that we're studying. And the program will actually send a book list to you, which lists books for each lesson. And I just go through the book list and reserve them at my library and check them out. And on all the days that we don't do a new lesson, we read from the library books. So Tuesday and Thursday, we do the new lesson, and Wednesday and Friday are our reading days. And at the beginning of our reading time, I hand my children the worksheets that are in their notebook, and they do those right before we do our reading because those are the review worksheets. So instead of doing those on the same day that we do our Nancy Larson Science lesson, I do those the following day to make sure that they're actually retaining the information and remembering things well. And then we do our reading. So it's been a pretty stress-free way to get science done in our homeschool. And it helps that I don't have to do any planning or any shopping. And I feel that my kids retain the information really well. So that's why we've been using this program for the past few years and we plan to continue using it until our kids outgrow the program.